Hello, this is Abayal Giver, and today I'm going to be showing something really important, especially if you're new to prepping or just working on short-term, long-term food storage or supplies, maybe first aid kit, medication, um, proteins, or even things like camping food, like the freeze-dried foods. You have to store them, and you got to store them someplace dark and someplace that's going to be free of moisture and free of bugs because bugs are attracted to food and so this is where this product comes in known as a gamma seal lid or gamma lid is what most people call it and the brand is gamma 2 or g2 um, these can be found on amazon i will leave a link in the description for it this is actually purchased locally through tractor supply and to find them in a tractor supply they're a bit difficult they're over by the animal feed section where all the um, plastic containers are, they're usually just in its own little section, like two or three of them. They don't carry many of them, but these things are amazing. So these are designed to fit on a 3.5 to 7 ounce, or 7, no, 7 gallon uh, bucket. Now they tell you to use a food safe bucket, but spackle bucket works just fine as long as you sleeve it, and I'm going to show you that shortly. Um, so I have a couple tips and tricks on how to make the most out of this. Um, gamma seals come in various colors. I usually just pick white. So, it's just white. And what makes this cool is if you had something like a spackle bucket or something. So, you know how hard those are to lift off? Those, um, they're, um, where you lift these off. So, on a regular one, you have those peel lids that may or may not go on real well and they're not waterproof once you open them up they're not waterproof and get bugs in them over time gamma seal the screw cap now if you can look really carefully here there's a like a silicone or rubberized o-ring there at the top there and on the inside well you don't see anything on the inside Oh, but there it is. There's a large rubber seal on the bottom. So this goes into the top of the uh, spackle bucket, or in my case, I'm going to be using a Lowe's bucket, one that you use for when you shop around there sometimes. And you get more stuff than you were expecting. You can find a bucket all over the place. Home Depot's got them too. Um, so this snaps onto the bucket, and then this screws it on the top. And they're relatively easy to open, sometimes. And they also make tools to help you open them. This one's a little dirty, so we're gonna clean this up. You can see counterclockwise to close. Where is it? Nope, sorry. Clockwise to close, counterclockwise to open. I apparently can't read through the lens of the, lens of the camera that well. This gamma seal lid, airtight leak proof protection. Made in the USA, so that's awesome. Now, I said you can get them locally. You can get them all over the place online. Google's got millions of them available in all different colors. There are some that even have sparkly colors and rainbow stripes and all sorts of things. So we'll be taking this off shortly. Clean that all up as well. But in order to install one of these, well, they're difficult to install, but they're supposed to be because they're watertight and airtight. So in order to install them, they recommend this, which is a rubber mallet. Now, I'm not going to do this here because underneath this is a glass desk. So I have an aluminum platform set up in the corner here. It's a little dark and I'm going to try to get some light over there. Um, I can't show you the rest of the room because of some privacy stuff. Um, you know, it is a bedroom after all. So here's what it is. Um, also, for this job, I need some, something to clean both the lid and the bucket. Uh, my choice is Lysol wipes. You can use all sorts of things. Um, this is also going to be featured later on in a challenge by Surviving the Daily on an inconspicuous survival kit. You know, in plain sight, inconspicuous survival kit. Also, I'm going to show you something else that's... A bit different. I like to 
when I have the bucket, and you'll see it shortly, um, I add a liner to the bucket. So when you clean it, when you clean the bucket with wipes, or whatever you're cleaning it with, you're doing two things. You're cleaning it, and of course removing anything that's viruses or blues, things of that nature. Obviously not to 100%, but you are removing it. But in order to keep some extra bugs out, um, like mice and such can eat through the plastic container. It'll take them a while, but they need to smell that there's something good inside. Well, a way to get around that, other than still cleaning it, is to line the bucket. Most people don't do this, and this is just an extra form of protection for me, so I can separate the contents in the liner from the bucket. So it's just an extra thing there, and if you really wanted to, you could throw some oxygen absorbers in there, keep it as low oxygen content as possible to keep things out for long term. What I use the sleeve is interesting. I use these. Reynolds Kitchen oven bags, turkey size. Uh, for meats and poultry, 8 to 24 pounds. There's two bags in here, 19 inch by 23 and a half inches. This is perfect size for a five gallon bucket. May not fit the seven gallon that this is also fits, and it'll definitely be too big for the three and a half gallon, but this works out really, really well. So this is actually sealed, so I will show you this in a little bit. But that's my secret weapon in order to make sure everything in the bucket stays good for a long time. Through the magic of video, I just moved the camera. I paused it, put it on there, so I'm sure you can show a, just a five gallon blue bucket. That's all it is. Nothing special. So, there's here, not a step. 70 mil, five US gallon made in the USA and made in Canada. So it's kind of strange that it's made in both places. I think they should just call it made in North America. Uh, so this is Encore Plastic Corp. Just a regular bucket. Now there's a problem with this. Look how dirty it is. And this has only been in my garage for like three days. Now, what's going in this, by the way, that line that you see in the back is the handle. Um, what's going in this is confidential at the moment. I'll probably show you at another time. I have a couple others that are already pre-made, like this one over here to the left. I'll try to make this as easy as I can. So this one's pre-made. Those bucket, white top. And I'll show you real quick why this is cool. Open this up. And inside is my liner. I just close the top. Easy. And the liner will fit over the top here. Make it easy to load. And Mountain House Meals. There's some Mountain House Meals in here. Actually, quite a lot. And then we come down to there are Ready Wise Meals in here as well. There's actually my other bucket, which is full of Ready Wise Meals. And it actually has a weird smell in here because there's a small container of something else in the back, which you may not be able to see, and that's fine because you don't really need to see what's in it. This is just an easy way to make sure I keep now those are freeze dried foods, but you still need to protect them, especially for a long time. Don't want any bugs getting in there. But to like have one of spices with my food, things of that nature. So I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to carefully move the camera. Hopefully you guys don't get sick. So, here comes the front part. So, now the way they recommend, we're going to clean this in just a moment. The way they recommend this is to put this on here and beat it with a hammer, which to me does not work. Um, I can never get it on there. I can get like one side on there. Sometimes I can get the other side on there. But it's never a good seal, in my opinion, or at least in my experience. 
So I'll show you another way to get these on here. You also do that. But uh, let me clean it first before I get this permanently on here. So let's give it a quick wipe down. Both inside and out. So nothing, no real surprise here. The better you clean the dust out, see some on here, the better the overall use of it's going to be. Of course, it doesn't take that long to dry. A lot of people don't do that. You should clean out the buckets. I'm also going to clean the outside of the bucket all around this rim really, really well because that's what the seal is going to connect to. So you want that to be clean. Just dust off the edge. Sorry if I just hit the tripod here. And that's it. Now, I will, when everything's all said and done, I will clean the outside all the way down. Now, I'm also going to clean the edge of this. The inside of the bucket, inside of the lid. Because why not? You're trying to keep crap out of there. One of the best things you can do is you take your time and clean it. All right, that's that part. Now to clean this part, I'm going to clean the inner rim. And I'm just going to put this as far in here as I can reach and just carefully go through it just to make sure I don't have any dirt in that edge. That's it on that. So, how to put this on here? Well, you have two main ways, three main ways. Of course, you have the mallet option, which we're not going to do. As I said, I've never had any luck with it. The other option that I find really easy, but takes a little bit of practice, is you take this with the lid, you flip it upside down, on the bucket like that and you stand on the bucket make sure you put in something soft so you don't damage the rim and your weight should be able to push that down i mean as long as you're like 120 pounds or more i'm 240 so that's an easy way to get that on there i'm not wearing shoes at the moment so i'm not going to try doing that the other option so actually three options in total is this grab your hands around the edges around that lower flute there and press. There we go. And now it is on. Now, ooh, come on, focus. There we go. I'm not particularly strong, so just that I got that on there with just using this method worked out really well. And you can't take this off. There are tools that you can purchase to take this off but for the most part once it's on there that's it so i'm going to take my rag again and clean up that surface just one more time and now we're going to sleeve it so i'm going to use this open this package up now these are it is two in there and sometimes there's instructions, but uh, I don't know, it's for whatever else you're using. The um, These are often on sale at like Food Line. Uh, they're normally under $3, and during the major holidays, they go down to like 99 cents. So that's great. Also, this gives you another option anyway. If there's something happens and you need to get um, water or need to save something not only do you have a bucket that you can put water in and that's clean but you can also use the water inside so you'll just push it down and as I put stuff in it I'll leave an opening here to get air out and that's how you seal that so that is how you add a gamma lid now you have to, another option you can do it that way, 
even the bag sticking out, which I'm not a fan of. What you can do is put whatever you want in it. Take this, fold it up like you saw in the other container. Once it's in, tie a knot if you want. You can throw some oxygen holders. And there's your lid. And that's it. So this is a gamma lid. And obviously, I'll give you a couple tricks on how to get these things together. I am going to leave, as I said, in the description uh, where you can find the gamma lids online on um, Amazon. Um, but I do recommend using a decent cleaner, whether it be Lysol or Clorox or even soap and water is fine. And I do recommend something to sleeve it. Because if you figure if a rodent gets through on the side of this because they smell food, that's a problem. So if you clean up the inside and then you sleeve it really quickly, the only thing they're going to be smelling is maybe chemicals or nothing at all. And then that bag is an extra barrier from whatever else might be trying to get through. That's it. So thank you for watching. This is your introduction to a gamma lid. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I will answer them pretty quickly. Um, of course, the links will be in the description. And at the top there is going to be um, probably more prepping stuff. There's going to be a little title up top here. Uh, maybe two or three of them throughout the video um, for more information on much of these kinds of topics. So thank you for watching and have a glorious day.